Hi guys, it's Miss Amy, and today for Tinker Tuesday, we are going to make uh, these, um, what uh, a website called Teach Beside Me uh, is where I got the idea, and uh, it's a twirl, she calls it, a, they call it a twirly gig. Um, it's a whirly gig toy. Uh, someone gave me uh, one, uh, like an actual um, package one, like somebody, like you could buy it. And it was similar, same idea, but this is a homemade DIY one. So this is one that you can make. So what you need is eight strips. So full length strip, this is a piece of paper, just full length strip. I have eight different colors. Uh, cut okay so these are gonna go then I have a skewer stick okay and I have four circles all cut out doesn't matter whatever I have a glue stick I have scissors scissors I've already used and I have hot glue okay to make sure that it stays at the end so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one of my circles, okay, and, and I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm going to put it down like this, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna, gonna go like that. And next one, right across from it, okay? So there's the first two, okay? You can see the first two. Then I'm going to make a cross with it. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put the next two. And then like this, right opposite each other. So here we go. Like this, here it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on the diagonal with two more opposite okay one and two Just opposite okay you can see that opposite like that then I'm gonna do the last diagonal same thing last diagonal I'm gonna do this and this. Okay. So now, when it's all together, there I have it. So now I'm going to put another circle right on the back to cover all of those up. Okay. So I have a circle on both sides. Okay. One, two. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna build the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm doing exactly the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna build it like this. Oops, right in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna go across. Like this. Okay, on the diagonal, like this. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the last two and do the last two diagonal, and then I'm going to put that other circle right on there. Okay, we've done lots of crafts like this. Have yeah, I think we made chickens and some other things. Okay, so now both sides are like this. Okay, so I have both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skewer and I'm going to poke a hole through. Let's see if I can. It's gonna be super tight because. 
going through a lot of paper. all the way through but we should have done it before it's getting there though almost through okay so now it's through you can see that it's through right there i'm going to push it through okay push it through Really needed I did that one. Okay. Now I want this one to be super tight. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue here to make sure that it stays on there. Okay. Yep. But this to be super loose. You just gotta go up and down. Yep, okay, super loose. Now I'm going to go through up here. Okay, so same thing. I'm twisting to get it to go through right up here. I'm gonna go like this. In there, like this, almost through. Okay, so now it's through. Now this one, this is the one that I want to stay. So I'm going to put glue all around the top like that because I want it to stay right there. I'm going to let it glue. I'm going to glue some around like this to make sure that it stays on there, just like that. Okay. I want it to stay on there. Okay, I don't want it coming in and out. And this one, because I don't want it coming in and out, I, oops. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the inside of this one. Right around. I'm going to go right around so that it stays. Okay. Like that. Okay. Because this one, I don't want it to move. We want that to make sure this one stays. It's getting there. It's almost there. It's thick. Okay. Ah! Alright. Just like that. Almost done. Now let it go because we're almost ready. Almost. I want to make sure this stays on there like that. So now, this one goes up and down, okay? So that's important. I want this side to go up and down. This side has to be able to go up and down. So I want to make sure that it's nice. I'm going to give it a little space like this so that there's a good amount of space. Kind of fold it down like that. Okay, so it's not going anywhere up here, but down here it will. And it will go up and down. So I'm going to put my hand on the bottom like this. Oops. I'm going to go, oops. Ah. 
I'm going to go like this. And it goes up and down and twirls, makes a cool sound, and it goes up and down. And looks really cool. It's a lot of centrifugal force. You can do it like this and do it really slow, and it doesn't go up as far, just kind of twirling it. But if you put it in your hands and go back and forth, yeah, it is so cool. And see how it's going up and down? It's a really cool little toy, and it's homemade. You can buy these, but why? Why would you buy one when you can make one all on your own, and it really was not that hard? So, I hope you have fun. I hope you try this at home. This is a great Science Tinker program. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, art too. It's awesome. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy. Have fun creating.